what is going on guys welcome back to another video and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this cool liquid wrap effect using after effects this is so cool effect so let's jump into after effects and get started Okay, you can see I already add my clip to the timeline. So let's see how to create our effect. First, we need to roto brush our object. So select roto brush and double click on this. Then draw the selection around our object. After that, click this freeze button. Okay our roto brush part is done. Now we need to duplicate this layer. So I duplicate two times this layer. Then I rename the first layer to our object, second layer to our liquid wrap effect, and the third layer to background. So I need to adjust the edge feather on the object. So I select our object layer and change the feather value to something like 10. So now we need to remove the roto brush effect on other layers, so remove it like this. Okay, now we need to create our liquid effect. So select our liquid wrap layer, and go to the effects tab, and search CC Mr. Mercury effect, then double click to apply that. Now we need to change some settings. So first I change the birth rate to 15.3, longevity to something 1.2, and gravity value to 0. Okay, now our effect looks like this. Now we need to create the explosion effect. So I go to the start, and change this velocity value to 0. Then go to the end, and change this to something 50. Okay, now it looks like this. So guys, now we need to add a color effect. So I use the colorama effect for this. Then select the input phase and change this phase shift to change our liquid color. So I change it to something 40. Okay, now it looks perfect. So now we need to add glow to this. For that, I use a deep glow effect. Also, you can use the default glow effect. Okay, after that enable this unmult option here. Okay, it's great. Now we need to blend our object with this glow light effect. So select our object layer, and search effect called light wrap. Then double click to apply that. Then select the background layer for our liquid layer. And change the background blur to 850, wrap width to 310, blend mode to add, and tint value to 100. Also, enable permult background option. Okay, now you can see it perfectly blend. But you can see here our glow is not matched with our background. So I create a keyframe here, and change the background blur to 0. Then go to here, and change it again to 850. After that select the keyframes, and hit F9 to easy ease them. So guys finally we need to add some motion blur to get a smooth look to our animation. So here you can simply add motion blur. But I like to add the RSMB effect, because it gives a cooler look. So if you don't have the RSMB effect, you can use motion blur. So if you use the RSMB effect, first we need to remove motion blur, and after that pre-compose these layers. Then add the RSMB effect. Add 
After that, I change the blur to 0.3 and select Alt Motion to our video layer and turn on GPU to improve quality. Ok guys our effect is done, here's the result. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoy this, and please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next, so let's meet up the next video, take care and peace.